Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, I'm going to be feeding and rehousing my Israeli large clawed scorpion today. The one I got from the British Tarantula Show. But before we get started, I want to give a massive shout out to Mark Boyce and his son Joshua Boyce. A massive thumbs up to them two amazing people that watch my channel. And Mark has kindly ordered one of my t-shirts. If you do want to order one of my t-shirts, you can easily find me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can leave a comment after this video. I'll be much appreciated. So yeah, a massive shout out to Mark and Joshua. Thank you for watching my videos. And let's get started. So you can see the size difference between each enclosure. This enclosure on the left has more floor space for the scorpion to walk around. And this enclosure here, as you know, is just a brass plast tub, 1.3 litre. So if I just take the lid off, and as you've seen a little bit earlier, you've seen a plastic bag, and that's uh, just got some bird sand. So I'll mix the bird sand with the substrate in the smaller enclosure. So yeah, that looks okay. So what we'll do is now, guys, we'll take the lid off this enclosure here and give the scorpion a feed. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just take the court bark out. And there is the scorpion just there. Not very big, a couple of inches. And I have a, a large cricket there. It might eat, it might not. I haven't fed it since I've had it. So it should be hungry. And it's uh, going a little bit nuts. And you can see it has large pincers and a very small tail. Because the pincers do all the work when it catches its prey. So let's just quickly get that cricket and let's see if it's hungry. So here goes. Yeah, it's definitely hungry. I thought it might be. As I said, it's, uh, I haven't fed it since I've had it. It's a nice large meal for this scorpion. Beautiful scorpion. I do like the ones that uh, are not hot scorpions, like the Venom level 5s. This one would probably be about a Venom level 3. Same as my H spinifer. Oh, it's let it go for some strange reason. But hopefully it might come back to it a little bit later. And you can see the cricket's nearly dead. And pincers have crushed the uh, cricket a little bit. But the scorpion is in this part of the enclosure here. And hopefully it'll come back to its food. Or I might just zoom out a little bit for you guys and then get the cricket and give it back to the scorpion. There we go. Oh, we're going to get a sting. There we go. Which is nice to see. So, I'll leave the scorpion now to start eating and get its meal. And I'll get back to you guys very shortly. So everyone, 30 minutes later, as it's just said, unfortunately, the scorpion... It's not eating its meal yet, so but I'm still going to rehouse it. So what I'll do is, I've got a cricket tub here. I'll put the scorpion inside the cricket tub. So I can rehouse it. There we go. And let's just take that cricket out. And I'll leave it inside there for a couple of minutes while I just... Put the substrate inside the new enclosure. There we go. So let's just spread that around. Looks a bit better. And I'll put the cricket in I'll leave the cricket there and then I'll put the sub 
put the cork bark, sorry, and it can go inside there and eat it in peace and quiet. And it's nice and dark. Let's just put the water dish back in and I'll fill that up in a minute or so. So let's just get the the evil little git. <laughs> it's uh, very, very feisty. And there we go. So let's just quickly fill that water dish up. So let's just quickly fill the water dish up. And there we go. So hopefully off camera the scorpion will eat its meal. And as I've said a few times it hasn't eaten since I've had it. So yeah that looks a lot better than it did. A bit more floor space for the scorpion to walk around. So I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching everyone.